Module 5, Lesson 11, Homework. Number 1. Kristen tiled the following rectangles using square units. Sketch the rectangles and find the areas. Then confirm the area by multiplying. Rectangle A has been sketched for you. So rectangle A is 2 and 3 fourths units long. Because we have the 2 plus the 3 fourths. By how many wide? We have 1 plus 1 half, which is 1 and 1 half. So then they've gone ahead and multiplied for us, which is helpful. So they did one times two is two. One times two times three fourths is three fourths. One half times two is one, and three fourths times one half is three eighths. So all we have to do is add all of those together. So two plus one plus three fourths plus three eighths. Now I notice I need I'm gonna have to add these and I don't have a common denominator. So 3 fourths plus 3 eighths, the common denominator for 4 and 8, think back to when we were finding common denominators and adding fractions. So a common denominator for 4 and 8, if we list the multiples of each one, our best common multiple, least common multiple is 8 which means we can leave 3 eighths alone, but I need to make 3 fourths into eighths. Four times two is eight. So we're gonna multiply by two over two, which is one. Three times two is six. So this is six eighths. So we have two plus one, which is three, plus three eighths plus six eighths will give us three and nine eighths, which if we Make that into a mixed number, we get four and one eighth units squared. Now they also want us to multiply to make sure that that is true. Two and three fourths times one and one half. If I make each of those improper fractions, we do two times four is eight, plus three is 11 fourths, times one times two is two, plus one is three halves. We get 33 eighths, and then I just need to divide, eight goes into 33 four times, because that's eight times four is 32, and we have one left over. So we get the same thing whether we do the whole tiling method or we just multiply by making them improper fractions. So rectangle B is two and a half units long by three fourths wide. So I'm gonna start with my three fourths, and then I'm gonna do two and a half. So we have two and a half. So then inside I'm gonna multiply three fourths times two. I'm gonna make it two over one. So we get six fourths or one and two fourths, which is one and one half. And then we have three fourths times one half equals three eighths. So when we add them up, we get one and one half plus three eighths. And I need to make them have a common denominator. So one and one half is equal to one and four eighths. So we get one and seven eighths units squared. Now if I do it the other way, where I'm just multiplying two and one half times three fourths. I'll make two and a half into five halves times three fourths, which would be equal to 15 eighths. If I make that into back into an improper fraction, eight goes into 15 one time, and we have seven left over out of eight. So one and seven eighths units squared. Rectangle C is three and one third units long by two and a half units wide. So I'll draw that three and one third long. So there's my little third piece and two and a half wide. So three plus one third. I always like to put the plus sign because it just reminds me that that's where that came from, that it's three and one third, and then two plus one half. So in here we have two times three equals six, and then we have 
2 times 1 third, or 2 over 1 times 1 third, which is 2 thirds. Here we have 1 half times 3. It's 3 halves, or 1 and 1 half. And our last tiny little box is 1 half times 1 third equals 1 sixth. When we add them all together, 6 plus 2 thirds plus 1 and 1 half plus 1 sixth. So we have three different denominators. If I listed the least common multiples for all of them, I would get 6. So I'm going to go ahead and change 2 thirds into 6. I get 4 sixths. And 1 and 1 half into sixths would be 1 and 3 sixths. 6 plus 4 sixths plus 1 and 3 sixths plus 1 sixth. So our whole number is 7 and 1, 6 plus 1 is 7. Then we have 4 sixths plus 3 sixths is 7 sixths plus 1 sixth would be 8 sixths. And then if I make that into 8 sixths is an improper fraction, if I make it a mixed number, it'll be 1 and 2 sixths, which would give me 8 and 2 sixths, or if I reduce that even more, 8 and 1 third units squared. Now we now need to multiply to check and make sure that's correct. So if I just multiplied 3 and 1 third times 2 and a half, I would have 10 thirds times 5 halves, or 50 sixths. And if I divided, 6 can go into 50. Uh, 6 times 7 is 42, 6 times 8 is 48, so I would have 8, and if I, that's 48 sixths, so I have 2 left over, which is the same as right there, or 8 and 1 third units squared. D, rectangle D is 3 and a half units long, 2 and 1 fourth wide. So 3 and a half. Two and a fourth. If I multiply three times two, this part is six. Two times one half is equal to two halves, or one. One fourth times three is equal to three fourths, and one fourth times one half is equal to one eighth. We get six plus one plus three fourths plus one eighth. Six plus one is seven. Three fourths plus one eighth, I need to find a common denominator, which would be eight, and three fourths is equal to six eighths. So we have six eighths plus one eighth, Add those together, we get 7 and 7 eighths. Let's make sure that is correct if we did it the other method. So 3 and a half times 2 and 1 fourth. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7 halves times 9 fourths. 7 times 9 is 63. 2 times 4 is 8, 63 eighths. 8 can go into 63. 8 times 8 is 64, so that's one too big. So it can go in 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. 63 minus 56, we would have 7 left over. So we do get the same thing. 7 and 7 eighths units squared. A square has a perimeter of 25 inches. So let's draw a square. The perimeter, so the distance around the outside, this side plus this side, all the sides added together, would be 25 inches. What's the area of the square? So what we know about a square is that all sides are equal. Which means that we can just take 25 and divide it by 4, and that will tell us what the length of each side is, and from there we can then work to find the area. So 
4 goes into 2 0 times, but it goes into 25 6 times. 6 times 4 is 24. We have 1 left over. Now we get 6 and 1 left over, 6 and 1 fourth. So each side is 6 and 1 fourth inches. Now we need to find the area. So to find the area, we do the length times the width. So we need to do 6 and 1 fourth times 6 and 1 fourth. Um, I'm going to just multiply it by making them improper fractions because I think that's simpler. So 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So we have 25 fourths times 25 fourths. 25 times 25 is 625 sixteenths. And then our final step is to divide. 625 divided by 16 16 can't go into 6, but it could go into 62. Let's see, 16 times 4 is 64, I think. So 16 times 3, let's try that. It's 48. So it can go in 3 times. How many times can 16 go into 145? Well, 16 times 10 would be 160. So let's try 16 times 9. 9 times 6 is 54. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14, 144. So it goes in 9 times. 9 times 16 is 144. We subtract, we get one remainder or one sixteenth. So the area would be 39 and one sixteenth inches squared.